Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm starting to learn about using Bluetooth low energy with the Arduino microcontroller. Uh, right now I have an Arduino and I have a, a relay. I'm just using one of the relays on this four relay board here connected to the Arduino and also this temperature uh, I think it's a DHT22. It's a humidity and temperature sensor and I have the USB cable hooked up to it so I'm commu communicating with the USB cable using serial monitor and if you look here uh, I'm, I've connected there's uh, an ID associated with this board when you get into uh, Bluetooth low energy uh, there's a certain format so when you're using Bluetooth, of course, uh, any technology, there's a certain standard uh, that has been written down. Uh, it's the, the guidelines uh, and standards for that technology. Uh, right now, uh, this board, uh, one, of this, one of the things with Bluetooth is you have an ID associated uh, with whatever you're communicating with. So if I say slash ID, it says here uh, ID 001. The name that has been given is Arduino Project Hardware Arduino Connected and True. And so I've queried this board for its ID and its name using this uh, slash uh, backslash ID. But these commands here are the commands you use with this arest.h library that I've incorporated into this, this Arduino sketch here. So I will add the links in the description uh, to uh, the topics, uh, to related information to the topics that I'm bringing up in this video. So this sketch here is the sketch that is communicating with this Arduino and is going to allow me to read the temperature and humidity and also be able to turn on and off one of these relays. <clears throat> now the, the great thing about this AREST library it's sort of a, a generic um, application that allows you to once once you write out this code to talk to your microcontroller and to input and uh, receive data to whatever to whatever it's hooked up to this code can then be transported or used with a different microcontroller or uh, if you switch over to Ethernet uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or the USB this code here essentially stays the same the only code you have to add is the code of course you'd have to add like the uh, library uh, the Bluetooth low energy library for whatever Bluetooth board you're using say the the Adafruit uh, Bluetooth uh, board or Ethernet but this code here once you have this code written and you have the uh, the values that you want to send in return from the microcontroller board uh, this essentially will stay the same. So this is called the AREST library and I already have uh, the website here and this is all on the topic of uh, AREST and you can see here let's see it says the AREST framework was created to give RESTful interface to several embedded boards and platforms in a nutshell the library allows you to send commands to a given board running a rest provoke an action or just get some data and send back and send data back in a JSON container now I did not know what that was I looked that up this is a JavaScript object notation so that is all being done someone has taken the time to put this library together uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Otherwise, without this JREST library, you would have to rewrite 
this script for each particular board uh, that you would be using. So back to this uh, serial monitor. <clears throat> now that I've queried the board, uh, I want to set, it's hooked up to pin 8. Uh, the relay is hooked up to pin 8. So I need to call pin 8 in output. So I say backslash mode, backslash 8, backslash O, return. And I have now identified pin 8 set to output. And now I can turn on and off that relay. So backslash digital, backslash 8, backslash uh, 1. I've turned it off. For this particular board, it's going to be the uh, opposite. I think I came across this once on a previous project. So if I say backslash digital backslash 8 backslash 0, I can turn that relay back on again. So I have control. And I can also uh, read the temperature and the humidity by just saying backslash temperature. And here's the temperature, 28 degrees Celsius. And backslash humidity. And the humidity is 35%. Now with that sketch, I can now add either uh, the Bluetooth, which uh, I want to uh, go on to next, or Ethernet capability, um, or wireless. But like I said, this main sketch here uh, is already written and will not need to be changed. I'll just need to add the support uh, code for however I want to communicate with this microcontroller. So I will uh, put these links here. Of course, here is the uh, GitHub link <coughs> to download this library. So you can bring that into your Arduino IDE and start incorporating this into your sketches. And the link here uh, you can see here, here's the guide for Arduino library, uh, the guide for serial communication, which I'm using, the Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, and even uh, cloud access, Raspberry Pi. So I will add all this information in the description. So I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching.